What's Happening aired its last episode 45 years ago. Most of the cast either lived painfully sad lives, or worse, lost their lives in tragic ways, many at a relatively young age. For instance, whose lifeless body was discovered days after she passed away? Whose health had declined so rapidly that she could hardly walk? Who was paralyzed? into your young brother lately. Chatting around the countryside. Playing poker. Getting home at all hours. Boy, you're just young. So I don't know. Well, we should straighten out. And find his oats selling activities to the ranch. Well, I'm out of bed. We can spend the whole day there. I'll get it. Do you like cauliflower? If you do, please leave a comment below telling me how you prepare it, because I have never, ever enjoyed this vegetable. It's not that I find anything really bad about it.
you want him? We got our own to worry about. Well, I guess I could put him up in one of the cells till his uncle can come get him. He's only a little boy. He's all alone now. He needs a home, affection. He's tainted, that kid. Bad stock? The whole tree goes rotten sooner or later. I don't want him around my home. Come on, Sarah. Well, I can't stay here all day, Pat. Sarah, send for the boys, Uncle. Oh, keep the boy with me in the Ponderosa. All right. He's all yours, Ben. That's a, that's a pretty flower. Weeds will choke it out before it takes root. Uh, son, you'll, uh, you'll be staying at my ranch till your uncle can come for you. Pa said he'd come back for me. And I'm going to be waiting right here until he does. Well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we better get your things from the cabin. I'll go myself. sleep here and you let me eat here. All right, thanks. But I can do chores. I can help now, you. Now, hold on there. Uh, you don't have to pay me back. We're friends. I want you to trust me. Well, there's no one else left, son. There is two. My pa. Do you know where your pa is? Why he went away? He had to go away. My ma said so. My pa promised he'd be coming back, though. Well, you know, <laughs> Billy, uh, sometimes we, uh, we promise things and we, well, we mean to keep the promise, but, well, something happens and we can't. My pa promised he'd be coming back, and I'm going to be waiting here until he does. He doesn't tell lies. <laughs> Such a grasp for a Oh, well, Joe, I reckon he must have been a mite more mellow when he was younger. I just had that coming. That boy has me so, so worried. When's his uncle coming? Sheriff hasn't heard yet. Oh, he's got to know about his father sooner or later. Maybe you should just uh, tell him. Mr. Cartwright! Mr. Cartwright, come quick! Pop sent you out of trouble again. Him bad. Him very bad boy. Oh, what did he do? He take hop sing knife. A big knife. Well, the butcher knife? I see him. I say you give back. He say no. Very sharp. You better get back quick. All right, I'm saying all right. Well, I'm 
just got to discipline that boy somehow. Well, you know. Let me talk to him. Well, don't you think I'm capable of talking to him? Well, yes, sir, you are, but maybe you've been talking to us for next so long you done forgot how to talk to a little feller. Just 
hold on to it. Sorry, it's a long one, Jill. You can do them chores for me. Thanks, Mr. Cartwright. Just one other thing. Son, it ain't right to take something that don't belong to you. Let me take that knife back. Let me let me take it in. Old Hop Flint's pretty riled up right now, won't you? Won't you let me take it in to him, then you can go by and tell him you're sorry later. All right, if you want it that way.
pretty woman, Betty. That's the only thing that's really mine. Except for this knife now. You know something? Sure is gonna be fun when my dog gets back. Ain't it? Yeah, Betty. It's gonna be a while. I can wait. They killed him. 